I just got the Epson Expression Home XP4205 printer from Walmart for $70. It's a three-in-one printer, so it can print, copy, and scan. It has two-sided printing and mobile printing and an LCD screen. Here's the other side of the box. It says it has an ISO print speed of 10 or 5 ISO PPM. It has a scan resolution of 1200 by 2400 DPI, and it has a print resolution of 5760 by 1440. It says it takes 232 ink or 232 XL for 150 pages for black ink and 140 pages for color ink or 380 pages for black ink for the XL cartridge. It says it works with Apple AirPrint. Let's open it up. Cut the tape on the other side. Let's see what's inside. It says it has two styrofoam blocks and then a bag we can pull out. Okay, here's the ink cartridges. It has four ink cartridges on top. Let's take those out with the power cord. Let's take the other cartridges out. Here's the printer. Let's pull the bag out. Comes out nice and easy. Inside the box is the instruction booklet. Let's take the printer out of the bag. Take that bag off. Has the same information on the top. There's a look from the top down. All right, let's get the tape off and start it up. Take this tape off. Got some tape on the back. More tape over here. More tape on the back. Oh. Take that tape off. Got some tape and some cellophane. Yeah, more tape down here. Still more tape. And pull that out. A lot of tape here. Long piece of tape here. Now I got the tape off the front. Take the tape off of the back. Pull that tape off. And then another piece of tape here. Then one more piece on the side here. Take that piece of tape off. It looks like we load the paper from the back, so I'm going to open that up. And then pull this out. I'm going to put some paper in there. I got this copy paper for $5.57 at Walmart. So I'm just going to slide a couple pieces of paper in there. And we should be all good to go. I'm going to put this piece back on that accidentally came off. That just clips in there. And there we go, we have the printer loaded with paper. Next up, I'm gonna plug the power cord in to the back of the printer. Let's plug it into the wall. Okay, let's turn the printer on. Turning it on for the first time. Okay, it's asking us to choose a language. We're gonna click English and then okay. We can scan this code to set up this printer with your smartphone or other smart device using the Epson Smart Panel app. I'm going to continue set up without the app. It's processing. I can also lift this panel up to however far I want to have it up. Initialization starts. Install the ink cartridges for setup that came with the printer. Okay, first up, we got this handle on the side. I'm going to lift up the scanner and then insert the ink cartridges. I'm going to take this piece of paper out of here with that tape. So you can just tear these open. Here's a little tab right here. Use two hands and just pull it back. Then we can take each color out and insert it. First thing we're going to need to do is shake the ink cartridges. So I'm going to shake that. So I'm going to shake the black ink. Now it's out of the package. I'm going to remove that yellow tab. So just peel that off of there. Then I'm going to insert the black ink cartridge. It just goes straight down and then clicks in. Then I need to put in the other cartridges. So I'm going to do the same for each cartridge. Insert yellow, then magenta, and then cyan. Our colors are in, so I'm going to close the lid. We have installed selected. 
Then I'm going to press OK, and it's processing. Okay, it's initializing the printer. It says it can take about six minutes. Initialization complete. Move on to print quality adjustments. Okay. Align the printer to get the best print quality. Adjust recommended. Okay. Perform a print head nozzle check to check print quality. Print. Okay. Load letter A4 size paper in the rear. Paper feeder to nozzle check pattern. Print. Okay. And it's printing. Okay, here's a look at the print process. Okay, that's how it printed out. So we have some gaps in the blue and the pink. And press OK. And press OK. Press OK. It's printing again. It's aligning the printer. This one's taking some time. Here's our result. Here's the result of our magenta and our black. Choose the square with the fewest. So we got to choose the one with the least amount of lines. That's for row one, so we have to look for row one. Three is the best, I would agree. So we click OK. And then we got to look at row two, and four is the best. So four is the best, I agree. So we click OK. And we go through the rest of this. If you need to adjust a row, like row four is better on four, six, just hit plus, and then OK. Now it's asking us to print again, so I'm going to click OK. And we're printing again. This is the horizontal alignment. OK. Now we got to see which rectangles are not separated or overlapped and pick the best one and hit OK. So number four does look good, so I'm going to hit OK. OK. Print head alignment complete. You can adjust again from maintenance. Hit OK. And we're all set up. Here's the main screen. We can copy, we can scan, scroll over. We have settings, maintenance, smartphone connection. We can go up to our ink, hit OK. And it shows us our ink levels. And we're full right now. So I'm going to go back. And next up, we'll connect this printer to the computer. The instructions for this printer say to go to epson.com support slash XP4200 for United States, or go to epson.ca for Canada, and download the software. So let's do that. Next thing we're gonna do is update the Wi-Fi. So hit up, go right, hit OK. Now we're in network connection settings. Wi-Fi is selected, so we're gonna click OK. We're gonna click OK, and then OK again. And then we're gonna pick our Wi-Fi and connect. So there's our Wi-Fi, we're gonna click OK and then enter the password. Okay, now setup's complete, we are connected. And it's asking us to update firmware, so we can just press OK. OK, start firmware update, sure. Agree, and it's gonna update the firmware. Now that we have the printer up to date, we're going to go to the website listed in the instruction manual. It brings up the printer, select our operating system, and then download the drivers and utility combo package with the installer, and download that. It's going to ask us if we want to make changes on the computer, and we're going to click Yes. It says this file contains the installer to obtain everything you need to use your Epson XP4200. So click OK and Accept. I'm going to uncheck and click Next. So the printer is on, so we're going to click Next. It's going to download the drivers, install the printer drivers, and then select the software you want to install, and then click Install, Install. Okay, it's going to install the software, and then print a test page. So it's printing the test page. Alright, congratulations, you finished setting up the printer. Click Next, Finish and Register. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.